Hi everybody, my name is Jeff. I'm a contributor at DirtyShirt.info and what I wanted to do today was demonstrate how to tie down a load. Uh, we're going to use a truck for the demonstration today, but if you get creative, I'm sure you can find a way to do it uh, on a car. Uh, primarily what you need is a good length of rope, a strong rope, and you also need two tie-down points. Uh, I have a shorter piece of rope here that I wanted to show you how I've got this thing set up, and then we're going to move over to a longer piece, and I'm going to actually tie down the load. Uh, the ends are, are pretty much the one end we've got a loop that's been set up and at the other end we've got a tag end that's been set up and there's been no modifications whatsoever to that. Okay, I'm going to set this aside and we're going to go look at the larger rope that I have over here. It's over at the first attachment point. What I'm going to do is take that loop end and I'm going to put that onto this U-bolt that's been supplied with the truck. I'm just going to feed that through. Okay, Take the tag end of the rope feed that through the loop and take up the slack so that we come down on top of that attachment point and tighten it up. Okay, that's one side. Come over the load. Again, I'm going to take the tag into the rope, feed it through the second attachment point, and take up the slack. Just get a little tension on it right now. Okay, you see up here this is relatively loose and it's kind of the way we want that to be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to create a loop and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use that here in a second. But I want this loop kind of up high where I can uh, deal with it more effectively than say down here. It won't work for us when we go to cinch this down and you'll see why that is in just a minute. So again, a little bit of tension. I'm going to take the from the tag end where it's loose, I'm going to create a loop, okay, and a knot. Regular overhand knot, I'm going to pull this tight, okay. So again, the tag end is still through the attachment point on the truck, and I'm going to get the very end of the tag. Let that sit for a minute. Feed the tag in through the loop. Again, take up the slack. It's got a little bit of tension on it right now, but you can see things are going to start to come together. And what I'm going to do is pull down on this. I'm going to give this two good sharp jabs to get this to tighten up. Okay. It's very, very tight right now, and I'm just holding on with not much pressure at all on the tag end. I'm going to come here, I'm going to pinch right here. So my left hand now has all the load and my right hand is free because I need to get the a loop created in here so that we can tie the final knot that will hold the load down. Feed it through just like that. Now I'm going to pull this loop end up and cinch the knot. The load right now is tied down. If you step back for a second, we're going to take a look and show you exactly what we've got here. Load's very tight. The rope is very tight. I can shake this. It just doesn't want to move. The whole truck is shaking because there's so much tension on the rope, okay? And that's how I would travel with this particular load. In order to release this, what I'm going to do, again, is grab the tag end, okay? Just get enough in your hand where you can get a hold of it. I'm just going to pull it loose. The load's about to let go right now. Just as soon as this feeds through, boom, the load came loose. And you gather up your rope and uh, you know, complete the, the moving of your load. Pull this all out. I do want to point out one thing too is that for every different size load, this knot actually goes in a different place because we, we custom did this for this particular load. If it was lower or if it was higher, this would probably be in the wrong place. And there's only one thing for this knot to do, and that's just get tighter. And it's just tighter and tighter. Uh, it's really difficult to get these out later on. So as soon as I finish doing the job that I'm doing, I do remove this knot and um, coil the rope up. And for the last demonstration, I wanted to show you kind of a easier way to, to coil a piece of rope and keep it all managed. I'm going to go back to the smaller piece that I used in the beginning. I'm going to take the loop end and just let the tag end fall. I'm going to start to create a series of coils. 
that are about 8 or 10 inches long. Just keep bringing those up. And right now, I've got about two feet left uh, of rope that has not been coiled up. Because what I'm going to do is take this additional rope and wrap it around and coil it around the coils that I have in my hand. But before I do that, what I want to do is create one small coil like this. It's about half the size relative to the other coils. I'm going to take and twist that around in my hand and start to wrap. And what I'm going to do is leave these this short piece exposed. I don't want to cover that up with the with the rope that I'm bringing around. Pull a little bit tight. So here's the two ends of the short coil. I'm going to feed it through this one on my left. Take the one on my right, pull down. Coiled piece of rope. Thanks for watching and thanks for visiting DirtyShirt.info.